Hello everyone, this is Robert from Book of Mormon Editions, where we discuss printings, publications, and various editions of the Book of Mormon. I'm always learning when it comes to all of these editions of the Book of Mormon, and I think that me, as a presenter, learns just as much as the audience. This is the case when researching the 1830 printing of the Book of Mormon and modern-day replicas. I'm always learning more and more and excited to do so. I've definitely learned a lot regarding this next edition, as I think it's one of the best 1830 replicas I've seen. This is the 1830 Palmyra Collector's Replica. The printers have gone to lengths regarding making sure that this replica closely matches the 1830 original. I'll post a link in the description below regarding a video on a book they called the Letterpress Edition. In the video and for the Letterpress Edition, a publisher by the name of Book Printers of Utah went through detail in creating a replica edition of the 1830 text, as similar as you can get. This included finding the same style paper, imaging the text, and print pressing pages the old school way in order to make their letterpress edition. After they researched all the aspects of what it took to print in the 1830s, they used the template to make this Palmyra replica in a larger quantity and for a larger audience. This book is an exact shape, size, and weight to match the 1830 edition. This has a cover ribbon for the barcode, but once it's taken off, the whole volume is as close to an 1830 edition as, re as a replica can get. The cover is a sturdy hardback with gold lettering on the spine. What I didn't know was that the original 1830 had several types of font for the spine title. So these Palmyra replicas also have two spine styles. The printers even went as far as to offset some letters in the spine to make it look authentic. The gold lining placement was also unique, and the two replicas here have differences in the gold lining on the spine. When I saw the printing, I thought that there was a blemish on the bottom and top corners near the spine. However, this is an intentional print mark on the corners to reflect a binder's groove that was a pinch point for binding the 1830 cover. Once again, it shows how much effort and detail this edition goes in reflect to similarities for the 1830 edition. So I also learned that the original 1830 edition had speckling on the edges in a robin egg blue. So the Palmyra replica has, you guessed it, robin egg blue speckling by hand. The inside cover has a reprint signature of Joseph Smith. The ISBN numbers and modern publishing details on the cover ribbon can be easily removed if desired. Afterwards is a cover page and a preface. So the text of the edition was digitally scanned from the original cut sheets and then printed. This preserves the print font, blemishes, and even types and errors. So a while ago, I was asked how and why replica editions are different. My answer was that it depends on how the book printer put their replica together and how authentic they wanted to get to the 1830 parent. While I'm not an influencer, nor do I professionally endorse any specific printing of the Book of Mormon, I'm very impressed with this Palmyra replica edition. I think they did a really good job on this one. I think it's a nice balance between a collector's edition and a replica that anyone can have on their bookshelf. These editions can be found on eBay, Amazon, and directly on their website. So thanks everyone for looking through this video. I'm always learning more and more as I get new material to review on this series. If you have a special or unique edition of the Book of Mormon that you'd like reviewed, please contact me at bomeditions at gmail.com. Best wishes until next time.